Hello everybody and welcome to the 13th edition of the Memphis May School St. Baldrick's event. It is the Chop Your Love for Charity event and to be quite honest, I'm very excited for this. More excited than I've been for a lot of our sports streams. This is one of the most anticipated times of year for any MEPM students, especially those seniors in the participation in government classes. Now, what St. Baldrick's is, this is, as you can see on my shirt, as my on my shirt, Conquer or Conquer Kids Cancer. This is a great it is a charity event to to really to, to aid the St. Baldrick's Foundation in researching childhood cancer. And it is a very special event to those of us here at Mepham High School because we have those of us in our community who are who were in who were affected by childhood cancer. As most of us know, we had her on around campus, Gigi Geller, the daughter of our of beloved social studies teacher, Miss Geller. She her daughter was diagnosed with childhood cancer and We've run many a package, many, many an around campus segment on Gigi Geller. Of course, she's here in attendance as an honored guest alongside a bunch of others, a bunch of others, Robert Lusvina, to name a few, Kate O'Halloran, who has a close relationship, very close friends with our very own Sean McQuillan. We have over 60 JVs who will be here to who will be in the bald by the end of the night, including BMB Zone Finnegan Cordulan. Very excited to see him rock the rock ball door, as he likes to say, rock the buzz at the end of the night. A bunch of other BMB talent will be getting their heads shaved at the end of the night. We have raised fifty-seven thousand nine hundred and fourteen dollars as a school community and counting. And and this event is only going to raise us more bring more attention to a great cause and from on this and to, to lead you through the night I'm gonna send it down Sean McQuillan and Amanda Ali so take it away hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to the 13th annual St. Baldrick's event at Mepham High School I'm one of your hosts Sean McQuillan alongside my co-host I'm Amanda Ali and welcome to the 13th annual St. Baldrick's event this event is so amazing. It's where a bunch of people are going to come and shave their head or cut their hair and donate it for childhood cancer. Yeah, man. And this is like Metham's spring battle classes in a way, but it's not a competition. It's everyone's coming together as one. It's an event where not only the Metham community is together, but the whole Mary community is together as a whole. Definitely. It's just such an amazing experience. Um, I know like about 300 participants are going to be like cutting and shaving their head, all for a book, like such a good cause. And it's an amazing event. We have like kids it's all around, like doing big painting. We have a bunch of raffles. It's a big night. It's gonna be so much fun. I mean, we have some troopers here. They actually, <laughs> they actually came through our timing and are actually here. It's crazy. It is like so much fun. Like I did not expect that to be like one of our guests, but here we are. It's just like such an amazing event. Um, I see like kids all over, everyone just coming together to support like this super important cause, and we raise like so much money for just such a beneficial like reason. And I'm just so proud of the Mepham community. Yep, and a big number of the Mepham community, especially this year, was that we were able to raise so fifty thousand dollars and reach our goal of achieving well, what was fifty thousand dollars to kick can childhood cancers, but as you will in this. Case. And I mean, it's. And there's just words that can describe it. I mean, we have a bunch of honorary children as well this year. Uh, same as also in the past. We have Carson Hope, uh, former ex student, a dear friend of mine, Kato Halloran. Uh, just a plethora of students who uh, have either been affected or have won the fight against Child Victor. Now we get to celebrate them tonight. Definitely. Like, we've all come together. We're all going to represent them and show that we honestly care. And it's just such an amazing experience for everyone to just know that we're here for them. And just today just like representative of that we have so many people here just all in favor of showing their support for this cause and it's just amazing agreed and i mean this is the 13th year of st baldrick's year and each year it does not disappoint and bnb is not disappointed either with all of its coverage and the uh, extra crew that is uh i mean devoted to just putting in the hard work and time for this special event I mean, we even look at the stages during COVID where we were able to do a virtual uh, St. Baldrick's Shop Deluxe from our homes. And then we come back in person. We have smart boards of childhood cancer survivors uh, all over the gym and really no one in here. Now, a few years later, it's my senior year, it's your junior year, and look where we are now. I mean, this gym has more than 200 or 300 people in it. It's packed. I mean, there are raffles. Everyone's hugging one another. You see young kids of teachers, you see siblings, I mean, you see it all. I mean, it's 
a super cool event, and it's it's a really nice almost send off, I guess you could say, yeah. for the senior class before prom. Definitely, this has like been one of my favorite events since like freshman year when we had like social distancing, and it was only really like a few people that came to shave their heads. We've honestly, come like such a far way, where people like 300 people almost. Um, are coming to shave their heads or cut their hair and show their support. It's just been like such an amazing event and we are so proud of all of the Mepham Pyre who have come together and helped raise money for this amazing cause. I was just outside in the hallway. I saw one of the kids from Greece, actually, well, the teamers, I guess you could say, was just in the hall, and he was just saying, you ready to see this? And he was like, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool, and I'm not gonna doubt that. A whole car prop, so. I mean, I saw a car that's in the mine, so <laughs> it can't be that bad. So what, one of the beautiful things about this event is that there's always so much surprise. Um, you know, just seeing like your friends up there, even yourself just up there, and just like devoting so much to such an amazing cause. I'm. Like that, like blown away with how people have like come and show their support and just come together as a whole just to represent like not only the barrel, the Melbourne Mac, like survivors of cancer, just everyone and working together to put an end to um, this problem. And what I'm looking really forward to tonight is, I mean, just seeing the smiles on everyone's faces. I mean, how does a smile from a kid who's battled their whole life not cheer you up at all. I exactly. mean, it just brings such a warm feeling to the heart and just makes me smile. It just makes me think they've gone through and what we continue to. And uh, we actually have the national anthem right now. So. Perfect. Absolutely. That was, a, that was amazing. That was such a beautiful rendition of our national anthem. I mean, can't get much better than that. That's great opening. And I mean, now, it's kind of time now. Like, you can see uh, people starting to come on stage and hear fundraisers named off. It's pretty cool. It is so amazing. We have like such a great community that can come together and just work to fight against like this problem. Like, just everyone is like showing all their support. We have um, we have people like helping out with raffles and gaining more money and just honestly like putting it towards all such a wonderful cause. Did you ever get a look at the raffle baskets yet? I didn't. What can you do? What's there? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I saw. Uh, for those sports fans, there's four tickets to an Islanders and New Jersey Devils game. That's pretty cool. New York rivalry. Well, Metro. I guess. Uh, we also there was a fifty dollar Duncan gift basket, and for oh, those wow. who love Duncan, I mean, there's one right in the road who wouldn't want that. Uh, so Michael Kors scarf. I mean, oh, wow, that's pretty nice. Uh, I guess my mom should put it there because she worked there. Hi, mom. Uh, and there was Apple AirPods. I mean, oh my gosh, crazy assortment of things. So I mean. I mean, if you're going to do one of the raffle, I mean, out of those, which one would you do? I don't know. Um, I'd probably, oh my god, there's just like so much good things. You just listed like, so, I don't know if I could choose. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, there's also like a senior parking ticket that's put in the raffle there. I think there's two senior prom tickets. Just like, there's a bunch of different raffle tickets and 
Uh, there's just so much like amazing things that you can go up there and put your money towards a good cause and maybe get something out of it. Perfectly said. And I mean, also, as I'm just looking around the gym right now, to the right of to the right of our table in the corner is the kids' corner. I think we need to get rid of kids and make it the fun corner because I really want to go over there and just get like stickers, tattoos, whatever it be. <laughs> I, I went over there before we started this cross See, you got the, you got the I, shamrock. I got a little shamrock on my cheek, and I love it so much. It's just like that kid's corner there. We have like so much going on. We have stickers. We have, I think, face painting is going on over there. Face? Done by, Did you say face painting? I think face painting is going on over there. <laughs> Definitely, like, just the Rebham community is just so talented, and they're using, like, their talents for such a cause. Absolutely. I mean, now I really want to get my face painted. <laughs> I mean, like, th this, this, the definition of this night is for us teenagers also and adults to feel like kids again. To put ourselves in the kids' shoes and to childhood kids, survivor kids' shoes. I mean, we, this is a night for them, we honor them, and everything we do for them tonight is all for them, our coverage is for them. The kids' corner, what am I going to be shaving? And, I mean, we, we hope that, I mean, we really, really hope that this event just never stops. It's, become a staple in the Bowen community and we just never want it to end. Definitely. Um, like our hosts, um, Mr. Pat and Ms. Dennis have always like put on such an amazing um, night for us like through the years of me being here. Um, I just like never had like an experience at St. Drake's where it wasn't like amazing. It was so beautifully put together. Um, the Mepa Pirates came together and they really like ded dedicated all their time and commit like all their commitment to all the people that are going up there and shaving their heads. It's just so much like so much honor and so much like help that they've been giving like everyone. You just perfectly said it. I mean, I have no comments for it. According to one of our teachers, Miss Kalish B&B just got a shot, by the way. Oh, wow! It's a good little flex for us. <laughs> Love it. And, uh, I mean, it's a, a terrific opportunity getting able to even commentate them. I mean, exactly. I've done this now for two to three years, I believe, St. Baldrick's commentating, and it's become easy in my favorite B&B coverage-wise events. It's just pure staple, but, I mean, everything about it, it's great. Definitely. Like, you're... You're such a, like an amazing person to talk about this with because just like you put it in like the perfect words, honestly. Thank you, Percy. <laughs> Thank you. This is my first time commentating. Before this, I was working behind the scenes, but now we're singing oh, Happy Birthday. Happy saying? Birthday. Is it Matt Mano's birthday? Oh my gosh, I hope so. Happy <laughs> Birthday, Mano. <laughs> oh, whose birthday is? We'll Me find too. out here. We'll find out. Thor. Oh, Thor Bjornsson's birthday. Thor Bjornsson, uh, he was the second highest fundraiser for the oh, wow. uh, event. Pretty cool that, uh, actually pretty cool that, but they got to say happy birthday to him. That's, That's amazing cool. that got to, like, um, show, like, just honor him for his, like, birthday and the way he's, like, giving back to being here and just raising so much money for an amazing cause. Absolutely. And now we have Sir Dimash Senior still delivering a message. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone that's in attendance tonight. This is just an example of this incredible Mepa community. I have been in awe this year, watching students, parents, neighbors, and teachers come together to create these incredible events. And uh, Amanda, while Mr. Dimitri is delivering his message, I think Sid Alicetti has a little interview for us, one of many to come tonight. Awesome. See what he has for us. All right, what's your name? Ellis. How does it feel to be here tonight? Good. All right, have you ever shaved your head before? No. Are you nervous? No. You got a pretty good head of hair, I see. Are you like, are you excited to shave at least? Uh, I, I just want to say one thing. All right. I am not shaving. You're not shaving. All right, I guess he changed his mind, but he's not shaving tonight. Do you, know, do you, do you have any friends shaving tonight? Oh, uh, he, he's shaving. You're shaving? Are you, are you excited to shave? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you so much, Dave. Um, Sean, what are you most excited for tonight? I mean, well, I'm getting shaved in about 20 minutes, so. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's... Are you, are you uh, excited to shave your head? Yes, I'm very excited to shave my head. Little, I mean, of course, there's a lot of nerves that build up from the album and all that, but definitely a little, I mean, nerves kick in, and I mean, you get head shaved. So it's like a little out of the ordinary, but I mean, it's gonna be a cool experience. So I can't. It is such like a huge experience. Like not only like I mean, like one person doing this, and then times that by like hundred. We just have like so many people here that are like showing their support, and 
you're one of them. And I'm just like so happy that we've all like come together and shown our sport for childhood canner. Thank you very much for that. That was very nice. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of sheets to go here though tonight. I mean, it's 626, not 30 yet, and we still have no sheeties up there yet. But as you can see, I mean, we have some of the boys heading up now. I mean, it's just so cool. I mean, just this event and all. I can't get over the just seeing all those blue shirts up there is just so cool. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, it's for fun. every blue shirt represents a person who raised over $50 for the corporate, for the, um, for the, I'm so sorry, I'm losing my words, <laughs> for the cause. Um, and there's like so many blue shirts I see out there. It's just amazing to see like all of these people who have raised all this money. Oh, we have one shavy. Oh. Oh First gosh. of the many to go. What? I love the let's get it started. I it's think like that's the so perfect sick. Part. <laughs> that's so cool. Any more of a perfect song? Like, jeez. <laughs> and uh, as you can see on uh, the TV, uh, so. Currently, right now, we have a student being shaved in, uh, in the Bermuda community, and if you're asking right now, well, who's shaving him? Well, it is our uh, precious cosmetology program uh, that goes over to Calhoun every day. Uh, they put in so much hard work and effort and time, it's just shaving everyone's heads, and it's a really cool opportunity for, I mean, them really, I mean, we had our STN, this is their STN, I guess you could kind of say, Definitely. a big one like this. You're shaving everyone's heads. I mean, it's a pretty cool thing. It's definitely like something where you can go and say, like, look, I like did this. Like, it's just like, so cool to see like people begin to show off their talents and really just show like that, like show off what they learn. It's yeah. just like such an amazing like hands-on experience for what they're passionate about. It's amazing. I mean, absolutely. I asked, uh, I asked Mr. Patton earlier if he was gonna shave, and he said, uh, "Fine," because <laughs> mo the mohawk is growing out a little bit. I heard. So. I would love to see him shave his head, that would be funny. Maybe it. Maybe our very own Mr. Stein gets shaved by the end of it. Who knows? I would love to see that too. <laughs> oh, and uh, I believe Sinella said he has another interview set up, and uh, of course, it's with one of my best friends, uh, TJ Coyne. So, I pray you said. <laughs> All right, can you tell me your name? Uh, my name is TJ, okay. and this is Mrs. Wolpe. All right. um, so how does it feel to be here tonight? It feels amazing. I've been waiting this for a year. Last year I wasn't allowed to do my parents wouldn't let me, but this year it feels amazing. I'm back and ready. So I heard you're shaving, right? Yes, sir. So how does it feel to do that? Amazing. Just to support everyone that I know that's ever went through this, it's just an amazing feeling. Are you, like, nervous at all for this? No, not you're at all. just, like, super excited? I, I, I go up there right now, but there's people up there, so. Are your friends shaving with you? I think so. I have no idea. All right, that's it from here. Back to you guys. Let's go. Thank you for that. And, uh, I mean, of course, it's always my friends that get in these things. And whenever they see me commentating, they will always wave to me behind the camera. <laughs> I'll throw a part. And then they look for a BNB and b crew with a mic, and they just immediately just storm Sorry, and say, yeah. let's say hi to Sean Fleck. <laughs> Happens everyone's events. And I'm just so used to it by now. It's actually not funny. It's kind of funny. You know, just like we want, like, coming together and, like, um, how you said like your friends are like all here. They're probably here to see you shave your head, aren't they? I guess. Oh. <laughs> I really like guess so. A, I mean, a visitor. Oh my god, look who we have here. We have a store. Huh? Excuse me. You're authorized to be here by the Empire. Huh? Huh? Here by the Empire. Who authorized that? Are you authorized? Mm, I don't know about that. I'm going to have to write that. Thank you very much. <laughs> you guys, I'm. <laughs> Thank you very much. We just got confronted by a storm. <laughs> oh Is that not a bucket list item for you? I know. Look. Uh, wait. It's on Stormtrooper TK67. Oh, my gosh. Storm. That Somebody is so cool. kind of did with the name, though, so. I don't know if he's a real Stormtrooper. I don't know. Just going to say that now. I thought he was pretty real, so I'm just going to go with the ass to fulfill my own wishes. He had the mask and everything, though. Like, I can hear him. I can hear him. <laughs> the Darth Vader-esque sound. <laughs> Oh, we're in that stage. Oh, wow. Insane stuff. Crazy. Look, really at, look, look at the crowd. There's just so many people here. Really, and everyone's crowd's a stage. Everyone's watching. I mean, 
so cool. I, you cannot get cooler than this. It's unreal. Absolutely unreal. I mean, like, how many people do you think you see right now in Hanu? Oh my gosh, that's like a lot of people. I would say probably, I would have to say 300, like, ish. <laughs> Just a it's guesstimate, but somewhere around there, I would say. That's insane. Absolutely insane. There you go, get the crowd pumped. <laughs> shave and embrace. Embrace the shave. Oh, wow. There are more stormtroopers. I didn't think there would be more stormtroopers. Now I, uh, I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> I see like a red one. He has like, like a backpack on. They're just walking around and just like cheering the children up. Just this event is like so accessible for everyone, and that's what I love about it. Like you could be like a parent coming to support your kid. Now we're gonna toss it to Charles and see what he has in store. Take it away. Them to send us over. All right, here we are. What's your name? Whoa, how are you doing? Uh, I feel like my head is less heavy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. So why did you come here tonight? Uh, cause I'm cool. How, all right. What's it like now with plus hair? What's it like now? Yeah, do you want to keep going shorter? Yeah. Really, really, really tight. Oh, oh yeah. Let's look at this. You're about to transform. You're gonna wake up to a new person. Let's send it back. And we're back for that. Thank you very much, Charles. Uh, this is, I, I literally just had a parent come out to me and it's from the uh, honor, honor children being, uh, one of the children being honored. And I mean, it just warms my heart. Yeah, really definitely. Um, just like seeing, not only like the children, of course, but like the parents and all the people um, who are going, like, who are affected by childhood cancer. Um, and taking like all of these people out here and coming to support them. It's just an amazing cause and an amazing I event just to people. represent like all of us coming together. I think, my brother should be trusting um, I think I saw like a bunch of different um, faculty around are also supporting us. We have Mr. Dean Martinez, we have of course Mr. Stein and Ms. Kalich and Mr. Russell that are here. Um, um, we also saw, I think I saw Ms. Dennis, Mr. Um, Mr. Peck, and Ms. Geller, and just a bunch of different teachers are here to yeah, support. So and look who we are joined by, the man himself, Mr. <laughs> Martinez. Mr. Martinez, how are you? I'm doing amazing. How are you guys doing tonight? Doing well. It's a little loud. <laughs> it's a little loud. It's a little loud. It's a little loud. I got a little uh, back in my uh, headphones. That's all right. It's a live event. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. I mean, I got to ask you for your first St. Baldrick's as MEPM principal. How is it? It's amazing. This is not my first St. Baldrick's, but this is my first MEPM principal. Yes, yeah, yeah, MEPM. And I think that's an important qualifier because like many other things that have happened this year in this community, MEPM just doesn't do something. Right MEPM does it to the max and they do it, they hit it out of the park. Ms. Dennis, Ms. Einbinder, Mr. Patton, Ms. Claire. We have a cosmetology program from Calhoun, b, b you guys are crushing it as usual. It's, it's a total school event, it's a total community event. And when you get that many passionate people behind something, it doesn't matter what it is. It's the most important thing in the world like we're doing tonight to help you know, cure childhood cancer. It could be something fun like the uh, the truck or treat, but it's only to go great because you have so many passionate people that want to make it go great. I, I mean, you said it perfectly. I mean, it's literally perfect. I mean, when when you came into the gym and you saw that at first when you walked in there was about five people and now there's about 300. I mean, what are you thinking right now? So if you want, if you look, everybody's up at the stage. Everybody's, you know, it's like kind of acknowledging and laughing and honoring the people that are, that have donated, that are getting their heads shaved, and that's really what it's about. So you have, you know, hundreds of people in this gym right now, and, and all here for the same reason, and they're all having fun together. That's the definition of community. You know, all walks of life, but we're all here because we want to benefit the same thing, or we want to have fun together. Definitely, like you said that, like, so perfectly. We're all, like, a community, and we're here to contract cancer, and it's so important that we're here and representing those who are suffering from it. Um, personally, what, what do you think your favorite part of that is? 
So it's, it's hard to tell right now. You know, I know that I'm going to be, um, you know, really moved when uh, when the survivors, when the, when the young, you know, kids come up and, and talk and get honored. You know, that's that's really why we're here tonight. We're here to celebrate their strength. We're here to celebrate, you know, who they are as people and to try to help, you know, people in the future. So, um, you know, I, I know that hasn't happened yet tonight, but that's really, you know, I'm looking to getting to hear their stories and getting to celebrate them. Well, thank you very much for sharing your time with us. Thank and you so uh, we're going to now toss it to Sid Alessetti, who is uh, standing by with a uh, fellow attendee. All right, I'm here with Braden. How does it feel to get your shape, your head shaved right now? Um, it feels kind of weird. I've never had like, short hair. I haven't had short hair in a while, so it's just different. Yeah, like, you look like you got a great head of hair. But, like, what what influenced you to make this decision tonight? Um, I haven't had short hair in a while, and I've known someone as a friend who has had cancer before as a kid. So I shaved when I was a freshman, and like it's just like really freeing. Are you excited for that? Um, yeah. I just, I'm excited for a new cut and a new, like, it looks good on That's Thank it for you. me, and now back to Sean and Amanda. All right. Hello, guys. I'm back from the studio. What's up? Hi. I'm Amanda with Amanda Ali. This yep. is such a great event so far. And Amanda, so far, what I've seen so far, I mean, as, as much as I'd love to see a packed gym, I, I, well, it's not necessarily as packed as last year, but it doesn't mean that it's any yeah. less of an event as last year. This is a great event. I mean, honestly, uh, the lack of congestion is honestly making everything flow much more smoothly. I, they're getting everybody on and on and off the, the platforms to get shaved so much more clean. And it's a real testament to the students who had to work last year expecting this pack crowd and have to come up with a system. Definitely. And the system is definitely working out. And I really think this is like a, like a wonderful turnout. We went from having like only uh, like a few, I think 20 kids in 2021 came and shaved their head and now we have near 300. That baffles my mind about how many people come and support childhood, like those with childhood cancer. It's amazing. And in case you were wondering why Mr. McQuillan had to leave us, you'll see in a minute. Meanwhile, I got a bunch of my track teammates right, right in front of me asking of them if I'm going to be in my head. Unfortunately, I'm not. As much as I, as much as I'd love to, I, as much as I'd love to, I'll explain that in a little more. But for now, we're going to toss it over to Mr. What Is That himself, Sid Elisetti. Let's go to him right now. All right, so I'm here with Mr. Kiko, Aaron, Daniel Sandberg. So can you see how much you guys have uh, raised so far? I raised almost $900. So we're letting both your kids shave, right, tonight? That's correct. Are you guys ready for this? Yes. yes. Have you shaved before? No. No, no. It's really freeing. I did when I was a freshman. So, like, um, how does it feel to be here tonight with the atmosphere? It's crazy here. It's a lot of fun. I love this event. It's my 14th year doing it. Very exciting. It's great, man. It's great. That's it from us. Back to Sean and Amanda. Um, like to, Mr. Davidson has said, I'm just looking around, and there's so many people. Yeah, and I, I, I'm sorry. I, okay. I love how the Metro community always gets involved. I mean, we're just hearing Casey McGovern and Sean Seligman and saying, I think Kenny Garcia wants Mr. Dell to shave his head. That is oh gosh, that that's one of my exciting. favorite parts about the St. Aldrich's event. Is that everybody gets involved? I mean, last year I didn't help shave Charles or Stephen's soul. Yeah, I, like, that was like that was great. Like, like, like some of the like, some of the students will shave the heads of their favorite teachers. Like, it is a great yeah. event. I mean, oh, we keep, I mean, we keep talking. We got the year of a picture okay. of the Lucia spot for the camera out. No, she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, but unfortunately, I will not be shaving. But however, I did. A don I made a donation of $50 to Sean, to Sean McQuillan as kind of like the trade-off. Like I would love to. I mean, I mean, I, I, it would. I think of, I'm speaking a duration. I had to when I tried to sign up. I was I, I couldn't get I yeah. couldn't get this, the parental signature. I don't want to put my parents on blast, but that's literally what it was. <laughs> I didn't. They didn't want me to go, get up on stage and speak a duration as I am the valedictorian. They didn't want me to get up on stage with with no hair. And I understand that. So I yeah. understand that. I, and I made sure to make, I'm sure to contribute to such a great event as well. I mean, I, this is such a fun event. I mean, it looks like the Eagle is coming in. You see Mr. Demetrio coming in Definitely, with the I'm guys, so with the guys from Reese the Musical. It is it's gonna be so, so it's gonna be incredible. So now we're gonna talk. So now while we wait for Footloose, while we wait for that, we got Kimi and Miss Charles 
or with our very own news director, Sean McQuillan. Guys, I'm here with Sean McQuillan, longtime BNB favorite, and man, we're here at St. Baldrick's. What brings you tonight? Uh, well, what brings me here tonight is, well, one, maybe, and two, I mean, I'm Shane. Uh, one of my uh, best friends for a long time, Kato Howard, and, uh, recently in uh, November of 2022, got diagnosed with uh, cancer. And uh, she's a senior at Kennedy High School, so I mean, it's it's cool that I get to honor like this. It's just, it's a big, big thing for me, and it's a big thing for her. Wow, I, I mean, well wishes to her, really. I'm, I'm hoping she gets her uh, a lot better. How are you feeling right now in the lead up to losing your hair? John, how are you feel? How are you feeling now in your last moments of having a full head of hair? Probably for a couple weeks, maybe a few months. A few months. I I can't wait. This is gonna be cool. This is gonna be really cool. So let's do it. Here goes nothing. This will be awesome, guys. Right now, we're entering a new era of Sean Q. McQuillan. This is awesome. In a lifetime. I, this, is, this is really cool, actually. This is it. The buzzer, the buzzer is on. We're losing. It doesn't like, feel real at all. I think we're in. Some of the hair coming off. Wait, what you said? I, don't, I mean, the buzzers are on. Some of the hair's coming off. Um, Approach it. We're approaching the, the, the top of soon. Are we soon? I definitely feel the back is gone. Mullet's gone. Uh, the back is basically gone. <laughs> the side, for the most part, is kind of kind of losing its form. But this and this is for a good cause, a great it cause. It's for the lady right above. Me, so. Okay, ready. I mean, childhood cancer are the worst things out there. So it's great that we here throughout the community, Sean included, are standing up and fighting the good fight. This is crazy. How are you feeling now? I mean, I feel great. I mean, the girl I just honored got to shave my head, so it's pretty cool. So it's not a norm thing, I guess. So it's pretty cool. Cool thing. Yeah, it feels like colder. Like I have no hair. Like I'm already starting to feel it's like whoa. So. Oh my God, Hannah! This is crazy. Hannah McSmyer shaving Sean McCullen. Okay. I mean, yes, Hannah, right now. This is crazy. I can't believe it. Like this big of a crowd for this. This is crazy. This is awesome. This is the most. This is one of the most BNB things out there. Wait, really? It's insane. Out of all my BNB. Oh, oh Miss Killish comes in for a long while. She has. I told her for a while she was so. This is awesome. <laughs> the rest of the BNB. New Sean McQuillan. What? Here we have a new Sean McQuillan. A new one, indeed. Definitely a new one. So. Uh, I mean, I'm, what? I mean, frustrated. This, I mean, this Sean, this Sean we have here. This is the Sean that's gonna graduate high school. This is. Yeah. This is the last Sean McQuillan. This is crazy. Oh man. We had like three people cutting hair. <laughs> Sorry for the crap. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. This is so come on. You know, Sean, what you just did tonight was a great thing, honoring your friend from Kennedy. I'm very happy. I'm, I, I hope I really made well for her. I mean, this is for her. So.
all of us here at BNB, at MAPUM, the whole community, our hearts go out to her, and we really hope, we know she's going to be better. God bless you for that. Thank you very much, Justin. Awesome. This is great. It's so great. All right. Three and a half years, four years. Would you look at that? That is awesome. Yes. Freshman Sean. We've come full circle. We've come full circle. All right. That was awesome. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Sending you guys back. Thank you. Oh, here we are. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Patton? How are you doing? Let's go. We are here with one of the organizers and one of the biggest supporters nope. of St. Paul. No, I think the biggest organizer and the biggest supporters of this are the students of Bethlehem High School and BNB for bringing this event to you guys. But this, but Mr. Patton and his students in the participation in government, what makes this all possible? That we just came from probably from one of the most monumental shapes of the night, R.B. on Sean McCorn, at least from a BNB standpoint. He, he did amazing. I he think did amazing. I think he looks incredible. Look at this kid getting his hair cut right now with scissors. Said, oh, my gosh. Like, and look at his <laughs> face. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe he's doing it. But right now, that kid is making a difference Absolutely. in the lives of a child. As Mepham High School is making a difference with over $55,000 raised right and childhood kid. That's up to 57000 Stop. Now you're a faker. We might be 58. I, I think we're at 58, at least with the donations coming during the thing, we've gotten all the way up to $58,000. I mean, that's absolutely positively amazing. And this is coming to you live from the nationally, from California, <laughs> BNB from our petition. That's absolutely right. Unbelievable. Right. Coming live to your homes tonight. So, Mr. Mr. Patton, I, I have to ask. Please. Um, what motivation behind this whole event? Uh, I think the motivation behind this whole event is obviously to stand in solidarity and try to childhood cancer. But I think the motivation for this event is... If you look around the room, what young people can do given the opportunity. Definitely. And I think that's what's special about this event. It's not by one person, it's by the Mepham School community runs this event. From you guys to the drama program to the national anthem singer to the cause students and to community members such as the Five First Star Wars Brigade, um, the Amityville Highland Piper. The community comes together to make this possible. And I think that's my motivation and what our motivation should be. Amazing. That's like. You couldn't have said it any better. Um, and on that note, we're going to toss it over to Sid, who has our next interview. All right, Sid, go get him. Ali Alvarez? Uh, you're a member of the Skullmo Drama Club, right? Yes, I'm the vice president of the Skullmo Drama Club. I'm not sure if you guys just caught that, but that was a phenomenal performance. How long did it take you guys to prepare that? We've been preparing for a few months now. So for this particular performance, can you tell me what, what this is from? Like what play? Did you guys just make it up? This is from Grease the Musical. You can catch here at MEPUM on Friday, March 31st and April 1st. So is that like really stressful coming up soon? Like I know for Drama Club I used to be in it. It's like really stressful when you get close to the performance. It's been stressful. It's been a lot of fun and we put a lot of work into this show. Uh, and are you just generally excited to be here tonight? How does it feel? It feels great. All right, thank you. That's it for me and uh, to Sean and Amanda. Oh, so as we were just talking, thank you, Sid. We are just about ready to be joined by our newest AV, Sean McQuill. Still, a couple, don't worry, any more BMP talent are going to get out of shape. Obviously, I was hyping up during our little pregame. Finnegan Corcoran dueling, oh losing gosh. the blonde, going and rocking ball. That's what this event is all about. Conquering kids, can conquering childhood cancer. This is an incredible, incredible event, as we can see. Charlie Leo, uh, looks like the TJ Coin, who's getting <laughs> shaved. As, as, See, it's like Ben Galante also chipping it. It's like a lot of the community and really just comes together during this event. Don't, don't definitely, like you can see just from that shot alone, like how many people are really circled around uh, the Shabis. It's just amazing. And speaking uh, of the Mepham community, Amanda, one of the biggest members of this community, one of the biggest supporters of all of these charitable endeavors we do, is Mr. Del Rosario, who is standing by Carlos Decker right now. All right, thank you guys so much. I'm here with Mr. Dell and his daughter. How are you guys feeling? This room is electric. The room is electric. I love the energy. I love the turnout. Definitely getting everyone excited. Dell, what do you think? She agrees. She does agree. All right, so what, why is Mepham continues to hold this awesome event? Well, I think if you look around, you answer. 
The community response every year is overwhelming. So many people care about the cause. It's a great cause. So we're going to keep putting it out as long as the community keeps supporting it. It's an awesome thing the, the Mapham community come together over something so important and valuable like this. And I got to know, I think the whole world wants to know. Are you going to be shaving your head tonight? Well, they... They've asked me for my experts because I've shaved my head so many times, oh, Charles. I so I actually will be shaving other heads. All right. I did. Oh, I did oh, earlier. I, that's exciting. And I don't think they have a razor to get close enough. All right. I guess we'll, you guys will have to stay tuned to see the rest of that. And I guess I'll be getting you guys back over the table. Thank you so much. Thank that was great. Thank you so much. Um, I just wanted to talk about like, all of the different aspects that make St. Baldrick St. Baldrick. We have stormtroopers over there. I believe that is Obi Wan Obi holding a lightsaber. I'm, I also we ran like up one of the ID <laughs> cards or these little stormtrooper IDs that they that they so graciously able to get to us. Obviously, you see the stormtroopers, the lightsabers, right on the screen. You can see by center court, by the bleachers, closer to the windows. You can see obviously everyone getting shaved over by the DJ booth. You see the kids going up run by Christiana Fuflas Art Club. There's raffles going on, including tickets to Senior Prom. There's a yeah, huge, huge one. Senior, you also get a Senior Pink Spot. I don't know if that's a reserved park spot or just a parking sticker for like maybe a junior. Maybe, I think. I, maybe honestly, for... I don't know. Although I would much rather it, it be the latter than the former because the parking lot fills. At least this year, the parking lot filled so early. And that's just... Yeah. And that, I got the last spot today at like 7.15 in the that's morning. Luck. That's just, uh, uh, that's normal. That feels, that's honestly normal, but like that's just what we, that's just what happens. I've never been so eager to get to class. Everyone's so eager. Some people are watching the sunrise with their friends in their cars, stuff like that. What I've noticed about this year's senior class, and I don't want to give away too much of my race oh, speech because no, no, I'm totally going to say this. <laughs> totally going to say this. What I've noticed Guys, again, inside of, my, and... of the valedictorian <laughs> speech, what I've noticed about the senior class is more so is more so than anything else, more so than anything academically, athletically. This senior class is so involved in community and so involved each other. Everyone knows everybody. Everyone is friends with everyone. There's very little beef within these seniors. Everybody's friends, all in it together. Everyone is so charitable. Everyone is so giving. The events like this, the pig teachers, the, or the pig student, senior experience with the flag field of honor. Everybody is so, is so interested in giving. And that's the spirit of being a meth parent. And I think, in my four time, in my four years being a Mepham pirate, no senior class is more embodies that spirit more than my own. The class of 2023, and to be quite honest, that's I'm so proud of us as a grade. I could not agree more. Um, while not like a class of the 23 senior, I am a junior, and just gotten to witness it like at a point there. Um, well, like most of the seniors that I've talked to, friends with like so many of them, are friends with you. Just like I haven't met one senior. Oh my gosh, is that <laughs> is that senior Finnegan Corcoran Dillon? While we're on the top topic of seniors, <laughs> this is one of the shit that I've been I think of all time. And so I feel terrible that we just we were speaking so eloquently and up <laughs> Finnegan Corcoran up the Corcoran Dillon's on the screen. We have to talk about that and now, but. This is a BMB. This is BM, a BMB talent. Finnegan Corkulon rocking the ball as up to BMB members are as one as. And our reaction just symbolizes what this whole event is about. Like coming together and supporting one another. You know, we like both of us saw each other. Like saw like our friend up there, and we're like, oh my gosh, we are so proud of him. Yes, exactly. Finn, it, Finn raised five hundred and ninety-six dollars oh for, the wow. for the St. Baldrick for the St. Baldrick Foundation through his personalized link. Sean McQuillan raised twelve hundred dollars. Leading fundraisers were upwards of five grand a piece. Oh, wow. I know Thor Bjornsson raised like four grand. This is that's what the students do. They set up their own accounts there as a fundraiser or a shavy and they bring the link around, they show it around, they did this goes to childhood cancer research. I was it like, I was able to help a bunch of my friends spread their around. I helped out McQuill and I helped out Finnegan. And by the way, Finn is going to be on morning announcements on Friday. Oh, so, so not only is he doing this, he's, he's going to be walking through school, rocking the ball. He's going up on the announcements. So is McQuillan. So is a bunch of our other talent who are going to be rock ball on air. And this, and it is, and 
not that I'm saying that it, <laughs> this is very, it is very courageous to do this and, and present a different look in front of their peers. It is very, it is just a courageous thing to do with them. A great thing. It's charitable. That's what we've been talking about. This whole thing is just is a charity, and that's what we love to do here at Mepo. Definitely. Um, I remember from like last year, Miss Dennis was saying, um, it's really just like a thing that spreads around. Like you see your friend do it, and then suddenly like you want to join in too. Like there's a phrase that happens where people like see all the, um, all of the Mepo crew coming together and either cutting their hair or shaking their head, and they want to join in too. And that's really what a community is. They they join together and they help fight like these um. These problems, these ch this childhood cancer that we're working together to solve, and it's just an amazing, like, it's amazing um, change that we're looking for, and it's amazing. I'm just so proud of all my members who have raised so much money, to help and change, and work for this change. Look at Finn, man. I love. <laughs> he looks. He looks That's ice fan he, it is a great look for him. He looks fantastic. I mean, this is what this event is about. I'm so I'm so happy for him. I'm so proud of him. He's true. Him and all 60 some odd of these Chavis arts, which is, by the way, very much a, which very much is a good number for an Upham State Ball just 60 is it? Like, I remember in 2021 or 2000, I think it was, yeah, think my, it was sophomore, my sophomore year where there was only 20 kids coming out to yeah. shake their heads. Now it's upwards of 60 students, teachers, administrators. This event has grown exponentially since it was virtual freshman year. And it's not even just um, growing with the participants, it's growing in, say, like, um, the amount of people who have come to support their Shavies. If you were like, based on our channel as well, it, and just people coming out to support just the event in person, I mean, look at, the Mepin Gym is filled to the brim with people. Packed. It's more, it's more packed than that of the Winter Ball. It's more packed than a bunch of others that we host here in the gym. And this is an incredible, incredible event. Yeah, we've come like such a long way. Like in 2021, um, like viewers weren't even allowed because of um, social distancing. So we would have like um, anyone who wanted to view like their family members or their friends join on a Zoom link and watch like their heads being shaved off for childhood cancer. I remember that. And I remember that. We've come such a long way from having our family members in the house with whatever towels and and things that you can find to drape around them as like a cape that like you could not like we've come so far from the virtual St. Paul and that was a great event the fact that during this little pandemic we were still able to get this event up and running Absolutely. again showing the strength showing the resiliency the charity the, the charity of the Mepham community just the district as a whole I mean there were so many things that we did that were just, that were supporting different charitable events we did St. Paul and virtual we did a BMB game show that was I believe that I believe was a charitable event or at least or at, or at, ver at the very least was able to bring awareness to some of the stories in the community that had good causes in mind that were maybe repressed due to the pandemic that, that was another thing that we did but now you see the, the it is not slowing down we are a, an hour into this event and we have yet to slow down the shavies keep coming it's just great now and all like we didn't have like as many participants in 2021, the merit still hasn't changed. Like you could see right now, this kid is getting his head shaved off. That is so on camera, much no less. On, on camera, no less. Definitely, it's like so much dedication. Absolutely, um, it's. I mean, some kids will think about will think about, oh, how am I gonna look? I mean, am I gonna get made fun of? Here at Mepham, you are not going to get made fun of for for being bald. Everyone knows when you come in the next day. When you come in tomorrow. With, a bu with the buzz cut, with the shaved head, they know you did the right thing. They know you did it for a good cause. And honestly, everyone is very supportive of how people look. They're no Definitely. We, like, look on screen right now. We have Sanjay Prasad shaving Hunter's head. If that's not support for your friends, then I don't know what is. Absolutely. It is just so amazing to see. Like, all of the friends you have and everyone coming together, shaving their heads and showing all of their support for childhood cancer. It's, it's also like it's not even like a, a there's there's no gent teasing of uh, there's no gent teasing it's also you look great you look fantastic thank you congratulations for doing this like like honestly.
they're making a difference and the MEM community, those of us who didn't shave like you and I, make them feel make them feel so supported, make them feel so welcome the next day at school. It's honestly great to see when everyone comes when everyone comes in with the, with their head shaved, it's just like, it's just like they always we always flock to them, we always congratulate them or, and we always see to make them feel make make them feel like the heroes that they are. And that's one of the best parts. Not even the event, the day after where everyone who is rocking the ball at school is just is, or, or treated like heroes that they are. Absolutely. Um, just like everyone coming together, like the day after is definitely like thing I definitely will remember. Just coming in and seeing your friends with like a freshly head or a nice new cut. Like seeing my friends just, like shave their heads. There's and Owen Tranko, one of the seniors in I and I believe Miss and I believe Miss Dennis's participation government class get, getting his head shaved. So it's such an exciting event. Love having we, we hear enough we love having these time. And like you can just see it. Like nobody's up there and they're like disappointed. Oh my no, gosh, I'm losing my hair. Something to be so proud of. Absolutely. They're all so they're all Everyone's getting up to the up to the platform with a smile on their face. The shavies, the people who are actually shaving, everyone's up there with a smile on their face. This is all for a great, great cause. It's amazing. Um, just like looking around, like seeing all of these people just coming and supporting one another, and it's, a, it's an amazing thing. Just, I'm just like looking around, and I'm so proud of my peers for showing up and just supporting one another. Absolutely, Amanda. Take a look over at the. Take a look over at to the the I think the cassette in the gym. I believe you see the got you see the the DJ booth is starting to gain a little more traction. The kids corner starting to gain a little more traction, a little popularity as people start to funnel away from the platform from where everyone is getting shaved. I mean, there's so many different aspects to um, St. Baldrick's that fit in one gym and. The amount that they're able to just pack into such a into such a small space is great. It's amazing. Um, it's like I see, like we have a donation pool over there, and it's like packed with people just donating their money for an amazing cause. It's a wonderful sign to see. We have people giving their money for raffles, and just like pooling in more towards this amazing cause. And it's just I'm so proud of my Beckham peers who have come together and they're putting their money towards a good cause. And, and as and. I checked over my right shoulder just a couple of minutes ago, and I saw a couple of guys, a couple of guys, a couple of girls funneling in, wearing the cross jerseys, wearing their flag football jerseys. They just played it. The lacrosse teams played a game. They just opened their season against a very tough opponent in Island Trees, might I add. And, they're not, and instead of going home, resting, recovering for the next day of practice, they're here. They support their peers after their after their season opening, season opener. And speaking and speak of funneling in. We got another interview with Sid Ellis Take, Take it away, away Sid. Sid. Alright, so I hear you're the commanding officer, so you're the one I gotta talk to, right? That's correct. I'm the commanding officer of the 501st Legion Empire City Garrison New York. So how does it feel to be at like an event like this? It's fantastic. We get to do good things in the community. We get to show our love Star Wars and making costumes and then use them for good. I mean, we're, I... We're bad guys doing good. I know troopers aren't known for their aim, but you think with these blasts we can help take down childhood cancer? Uh, I hope we have a dead aim to be able to uh, cure childhood cancer tonight, and you guys are helpful with that. Thanks so much for participating and helping raise funds for the St. Paul Foundation. Alright, thank you so much. It was so nice to you guys. Have fun in uh, outer space. Where's Darth Vader? I'm sorry, what was that? Where's Darth Vader at? Uh, Darth Vader's still up in the Death Star, but he's wishing everybody very well tonight. Uh, I wish I could have met him. Hey, thank you guys so much. Back to you guys. Thank you, Sid. I think that was that same. I just saw myself on the monitor. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Joining us back here, we have Sean McQuillan. Tell me, how are you feeling after that shave? I feel incredible. Because guess what? It looks decent. <laughs> <laughs> my hairstylist was fantastic. And I mean, I think I have like the largest entourage up there. Like three people with me. And I miss English. Hannah and uh, the girl who's honoring Kittle Howard. I mean, I think they did a pretty good job. I think they did too. Like, even if it didn't look good, it was just a symbol of your dedication for this cause. Amazing. High Obviously. five to that. <laughs> Thank you for that. I mean, I even like when I was on stage and just looking at everyone, I was just like, oh my god. I'm like, this is surreal. Like, I 
when I got that barber coat on, I was like, oh my god. It was so unreal. <laughs> Look who's coming over. <laughs> Assistant shape. Oh my god. My brother. I what is Finnegan going on? And again, Clark. I am here. Oh my god. This is wow. insanity. My I'm god. surrounded by two fresh shavings. This is amazing. <laughs> Look, look at like the positive energy that is all like around us. Just I can imagine you guys going to tomorrow and being like, I did this. I dedicated myself for this cause. How do you guys feel? Feel great. I feel great. <laughs> it's awesome. awesome. It, I mean, it, it is they, so cool. When they always say end senior off with a bang, yeah. I think Definitely. this is our big one. No, this is it. This is that just it. so cool. I'm looking at a shaved thing. <laughs> His that. hair was bleached in the soccer <laughs> season. It was still bleached, and now it's gone. I'm like, whoa. I'm looking at Tom McQuillan here, who had curly hair. Where is it, bro? <laughs> nah, it's it's it it's a great away. though. It, it is great, you know, like for a for a cause and everything. Gotta love it, man. But uh, it's an experience, and honestly, it feels so weird, like just feeling. I it. tried running through my hair back of it, and I'm like, oh my god, there's nothing there. <laughs> I for you, oh my god, I like just touch the top of my head. I'm like, oh no. I remember I was like an inch away. I'm like, I don't feel anything, and I was like. <laughs> Oh my god. I look like I'm seven years again. I swear to god when they were shaving it, I thought I they like buzzed it a little too much and I was and like, I, oh, I, whoa, I, whoa. I thought that too because my dad gave me like a and I'm like I thought I thought Stop. they someone said, Oh my god, I, I, it's all gone and I'm like, What? And I, I literally thought they meant like I had a bald spot with some some person got the wrong reader and uh, sh shaved it and then I got the, the, all my hair's gone, but no it's, I got uh, I got lucky with the one uh, the one stylist on stage. <laughs> they were like Dennis had to like escort me right to her with like Kaden and all of them. I mean like, thank God. <laughs> oh my God. Like both of you guys are like afraid the ball and just showing like both of you guys. Yeah, we gotta, really get we gotta get we gotta get bald. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying. I've really tried. He won't do it. I think. But I also it's... think there's a. I mean, Mr. Stein. I did. He did say you can raise five hundred dollars. I repeat. If we can raise five hundred dollars live on the broadcast, Saint Baldrick's, Mr. Stein, I shave his head. Yeah, that would be oh a sight to see. I think I, I think five hundred is a decent number. I, I think five hundred. I th I think I think we can make it happen. Right? I think we I mean, really he's could. right there. I mean, I mean he's there right now. I think he's he done it before. I think he yeah. looks better with uh, no hair. What do you think? Oh my God, I'm looking on camera. This is crazy. <laughs> oh my God, my bald head, my bald head, everything's going Everyone's on. Everyone's bald head. My head bald hair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. It's surreal. It's honestly surreal. Sean, this is like an unreal moment. Man. I can't. We have it's Mr. Paddock and the bagpipes. It's not St. Baldrick's. They don't have bagpipes. And, and Mr. Patton with them. Oh my god. This <laughs> as, is a moment as, to see. As known as Mr. Irish Duel.
And if I'm not mistaken, we have Miss Halish up there shaving a kid's head. Yeah, I see her up there. I'm, who is she shaving? I'm trying to look. Eyes and who is she uh, shaving? I 
can't see. Do you see that, who that is with? Like that seems like one of her students, possibly. I think it is too. I think it's one of her students. That's awesome. what I'm gonna guess. That's crazy. That is crazy. I feel like a lot of people are just now getting bald because they they like the trend. <laughs> that's how. That's what I'm gonna think. That's what you're saying. Like, as you see, like your friends shake their heads. Like, you want to jump on the bandwagon too. And you know what? Honestly, there's another reason why I shave my. I always wanted to be somewhat bald. Like, <laughs> oh I wanted to shave my head, and I I always said this. When I went blonde. Well, Finn, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to toss it to Sid Alicetti, who has an attendee right now. Every Tuesday night. So, how does it feel being in this environment? I love it. Every, you know, everybody wants to hear the start drums, start up the tune, everybody gets excited and just want to do it, you know. Just when you think you're tired of hearing it, then everyone starts hearing it and you get excited all over again. What was that? Uh, thank you so much. Um, back to you guys. Thank you, Sid. And that was just so cool how you got to be with a bagpiper. That was amazing. Um, just like all of the performances in general, like, Standing, like right in front of us, it was like amazing to watch. I was getting mesmerized by like all of the talent that was up there. It was like more than just playing an instrument. They had to like coordinate their fence, like uh, their outfits. Everything was put together so well. You, I mean, you just said it all. I mean, everything here is just it's perfect. There's, I'm going to change a thing. I mean, decorations on the wall saying I did this for this person. I did this for this person. A donate table, a raffle table. A kids' corner, a DJ stage, I mean, it's everything you would ever want. Definitely. Like, I feel like it has, like, a little bit of everything for everybody. Like, the pets come and see, like, their kids shake their heads. And all of the Muffin students, like, they're volunteering. They're selling room tickets. They're helping out the kids at the kids' fair. And the kids are just here. They're having fun. They're hanging out with Worm Troopers. They're getting their faces painted. Just a little bit of something for everybody. And it's all for a good, a good cause. So, here is more on why we this. We started uh, a number of years ago um, from a couple of our teachers here at MEPA, Mark Hempter, and, uh, Marie Netto. Uh, a bunch of them had done that program here, and it was an absolutely amazing opportunity for you know the MEPA community to get involved. And then Kerry Dennis and myself decided that it'd be a wonderful opportunity to fundraise and make awareness for our seniors for their service learning project. Safe is a organization that use head shaving events to raise money for childhood cancer research and hopefully to find a way to end childhood cancer. It became very personal to us that we always wanted our children to make a difference and then it became a little bit closer to home. One of our best friends, Jacqueline Geller, uh, her daughter Juliana was diagnosed with childhood cancer. So from that moment on, it kind of became a lot more personal to us. And uh, one of our seniors said one day when we said, should we continue to do St. Baldwin? Uh, the student replied saying, you know, yes, we have to keep doing St. Baldrick's until there is no childhood cancer. Each year, we sort of are left with the decision if we're going to have it again. And we go off the words of John Durr, who's the founder of St. Baldrick's, that any little bit of money that we are able to collect is money that the organization didn't have. Currently, right now, we are over 35,000. We haven't been to 35,000 in a, a number yet. I believe the actual number that the MEP community has raised for St. Paul's is somewhere over 400,000. Less than 4% of federal funding goes to childhood cancers, so we want to do our part to try to end uh, childhood cancer. Unfortunately, we have had a number of students as well as faculty members whose children have been diagnosed, so it's a cause that really has hit home for us here. I'm just Baldrick's make a difference, man. Shave your head, donate your hair. Come, do a raffle, come dance, have a good time. dance party going on. Do we? I mean, I was seeing a conga one, and then I saw the wobble. I mean, <laughs> and it looked like they're requesting a song. I mean, wow. so much is happening. <laughs> like, you look in every single corner, and there's, like, literally no 
opener where this gym isn't like, I can't see anybody who's not having a good time. I see people dancing in the middle, just jamming dudes, like getting their heads shaved. Just, everybody's Absolutely. just having amazing times. Love it, love it, love it. Love every part of it. So, we're like, I don't know, how many seconds left? But it's just, this is Sean's reaction to his, I'm getting shaved. Would you like to come over here and get an interview? Uh, we're going to toss him to sit out Sunday Hall. I think he's standing in with someone near stage. I'm here with Matthew Keegan, Kevin White, Artis Alman. Alright, so how does it feel like being here today? Uh, good. Phenomenal. Biggest regret of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what's your favorite part about being bald? I love the way the wind courses through my hair when I'm bald. It's very uh, free. I can I can get behind that. My favorite thing is, so me and my friend Arda are big fans of Breaking Bad, and we get to make a lot of ba Breaking Bad impersonations now. Wait, what was the question? What's your favorite part about being bald? Uh, I have no favorite parts about being bald. This is terrible. All right, thank you guys so much. Back to you guys. Thank you, Sid. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Sid. And that was just such a memorable interview, just watching like all these kids shaving their heads for such an amazing cause. I mean, I just saw like three kids come out of three of my friends. They're all shaved. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Beamies don't shake. Maxwell shave. Matt Barr. Solo, a seat, fellow senior shave. Christian Galante shave. So many shavings. <laughs> It was just amazing, just seeing like everybody shaving their head, and watching it like firsthand happening, like all of the shavies like in front of us. We have like people doing raffle tickets, donating money, and helping out with the kids' corner. And we have the DJ. It's all just like so well put together, and we're all just here and we're supporting one another and shaving our heads and cutting our hair. It's all so amazing. I'm so proud of all of them here for all of the dedication they put. Look on stage right now. I think there's. Mr. Patton is shaving someone's head in oh his bagpipe uniform. <laughs> Not in any the literal bagpipe uniform. That is so cool. <laughs> you must be shaving a student. That's cool. <laughs> That's really cool. That is amazing. Looking around and like so many people like shaved off their heads and amazing. Like like even you too. Like, everyone is just joining together, and it's like so cool seeing like all my friends like like bald. <laughs> you know what? It's also <laughs> Sorry, Lily Yepes is distracting right now. <laughs> but like, no, my friend, the pan announcer, Sean Seligman. I told him to get shaved. He's not gonna get shaved. I'm gonna keep telling him to get shaved until he does. <laughs> it's starting to annoy me. Oh yeah, now so we have cool. a kind of joke going on. People doing the Cotton Eye Joe over there. That is so cool. I love how they're so synchronized. And they're so in line with them. So cool. Like, I'm like looking around and people are just dancing and having fun. And this is really what this event is all about. <laughs> it's just it's so amazing. Like, oh, now we're dancing over there. <laughs> Q, I think we could do a really nice con job. I feel like we could, but also there's about 80 hours <laughs> over here I would trip over, so for that, we're not gonna do that. It was, it's so amazing. Like I'm looking around. I keep, I keep saying that, but like, really, it's, it's so true. Like all of us are, like coming together, and it's so amazing. I'm just, I'm just blown away, guys. I'm blown away. Super cool. I love all, all of us. Like I even see like our camera operator right in front of us. She's, she's jamming to the Cotton Night Joe. We have everyone just joining in and we're having so much fun. Hey, get him cheeky over there too. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at Mr. Patton shaving my kid's head. Oh my god, more and more shaved heads I see ever. This is insane. We got some face painting action going on. This is so cool. Look at that. That kid is living life, having fun. <laughs> 
that's actually someone was just getting their face painted that I saw. Now I'm a little jealous. Oh wow! I'm, like, Look at the kid that so donated his locks too. He was just holding it up. That is so cool. So mad, so mad. I want to get my face painted. <laughs> Our camera. <laughs> our one of our only cameras. Oh, look at that! Doing the Macarena. <laughs> Did you know time? Actually, it was pretty recently. Uh, for midweek update, I was with I want to say Brianna Bolin, and we closed out to the Macarena. Did you really? <laughs> yes, we did. That's so creative. I can't remember which which week it was, but to go back and look at it, it was amazing. I mean. Maybe I'll take that into like detail for the morning announcements. Who knows? But <laughs> uh, now, now I know I have to step up my game. If that is a midweek, now I gotta step it up for the morning announcements. Oh my lord! <laughs> See, I want that face paint. Oh my god! That That's kid, a lot of hair right there. That kid had some hair, and he cut it all, and is gonna be donating it. Love it. Can you tell me more dedication than that? Literally. <laughs> Doing this is it's not an easy whatsoever. I mean, it takes a lot of commitment, it takes a lot of thought. I mean, there's a lot that goes into it. So, I mean, the people, all the, so all the people who do this, I mean, it's I mean, I, it's weird that I'm saying I'm cool for that, but I mean, I am at the end of the day. It's real. Okay. All right. So, definitely I'm liking around. Um, I see like a bunch of new freshmen that are here, and this is their first St. Patrick's. Like, this is just amazing to witness, like, all of this, like, first. And I can't I remember, like, the first time I was here for St. Baldrick's. It was very, like, it wasn't a lot of people. And just to watch that, like, small amount of TVs grow from, like, a lot of the MEPM students is amazing. It's so, like, so awesome just watching everybody. It's, it's insane. It's just insane. Right now, I think was that. Oh my god, that's so cool. How's it going, everybody? I'm the people are watching. Why is she saying? So they know. My name is uh, Vincent Galante, everybody. Wait, is it, can they see me right now? Like right now, they can't. No. Oh, uh, you guys are getting this voiceover right now. I want one yesterday. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Oh my god. <laughs> How's that feel? You're on BNB Air. Uh, I feel pretty great. This has been one of my dreams for a while, you know. <laughs> Today's just my day. I shaved like eight kids' heads. Then oh, I got wow. yelled at by Miss Dent because I'm not supposed to be. But then I joined the team, so now I can shave their heads again. I mean, how... Shout how, out Miss Dennis. Miss Dennis, you're my favorite. <laughs> was it for oh, I can see myself. <laughs> how was it for you and your classmates? I mean, like, just leading up to the bed and fundraising for it. I mean, it was fun. I raised, I raised a little bit of money on the side. Like, I didn't do the thing online because I didn't really know how to. But I did, I did get some money and I did donate it because I want to, you know, support, help out. Obviously, I'm not going to shave head this year. Maybe next year I would like to. Love it. And wait, what's, what's been your favorite part of this event? Shaving the people's heads. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty fun. That looks so cool. Who's, who's got this cut? Who's got the best cut? Uh, Just not, I'm not going to lie. Drew Erickson. Shout out, Drew. He's the right there. The whole gone. I know, it's but crazy. like he rocks though. He rocks it. Does. It. it looks nice on him. It does. It looks good. It looks good. I mean, it suits everyone well, and I mean, it's just great that we get to come together as community and celebrate like this. Thank you for all the time, Vincent. Of course. Um, thank you for having me. Of course. Hope everyone watching has a great night. Uh, shout out my label. That's me, little baby. <laughs> all for Vincent Galante. Thank you very much, Vincent. Thank you. So I mean. That's one of the perspectives from, I mean, one of the many students in the whole entire school who really takes part and takes his time and donates so much money towards this childhood cancer research. And right here we have another interviewee. Please say your name for everybody. Eamon Andrews. This is Eamon Andrews. And tell me if I'm wrong, you're a freshman, right? Yes, I am. So tell me, how how was it raising money for childhood cancer? It was great. I love Horton and great causes like this and I think this is one of the best ways you can do. And this is like your first time being at Team Balls, right? It is, yeah. So, is, like, how do you feel? I feel pretty good. I, I was going to shave my head, but I'm not, I changed my mind, <laughs> but I'm doing it next year. I'm going to raise hey, as much money as possible. Hey, you three years ago. You years ago. Exactly. Yeah. I did it my last year, so. Yeah. Right, cool. So. Um, 
One more question. Sure. How do you think he looks? Looks great. He looks Thank great? You, <laughs> Thank no problem. You Thank you so much for talking with us. You're welcome. And that is just another one of the perspectives. Just seeing like freshmen just talk about like their first St. Baldrick's. It's going to be so, so memorable for them for the next three years. I mean, yeah. And I mean, just looking around and I mean, I just had a conversation with our producer, Hannah Broxfire. Where is Mr. Stein? I don't see him. I need him near a tape right now, and I need a razor in my hand. <laughs> I I'm need to get him. So excited. If I'm not, like, I think he shaved his head last year, too, right? It was so cool, and all the seniors, like, they all took, like, shave over the head. It was just so cool. So much fun to watch. And it, it's only a night, like, that those seniors won't forget. I, I won't forget that moment. It was so like personable to see like my tears and my friends and all of my peers just shave their heads for an amazing cause. Agreed. I mean, uh, we have another dance party. And that's a bigger one. Great. I, I just went to the age. I just legit thought first Mr. Patton was getting shaved and I'm like, that just makes no sense. But I just realized he was shaving someone else's head. So. That just weirded me out. So, but I well, maybe Mr. Smith is shaving his mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Mr. Safina is too. <laughs> and maybe Mr. Dell. Definitely. It's just so much fun. Like, I'm seeing, like, all of my friends, everybody's, like, having so much fun, cutting their hair, shaving their heads. And this is really all what it's about. Just being there and supporting one another. You know, I would never expect Lil Uzi at a school <laughs> event, but... Here we are. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, time, maybe times have changed. You know what, no, not maybe, times have changed. So, Q, tell me, when you were up there, what, what was running through your head as you, like, in, like, the first blow? Well, a lot, actually. <laughs> Charles was talking to me, I could barely hear because it was so loud. There was, like, three cameras in my face. There was a newspaper, like, camera, whatever you call it. Uh, my parents I see with their phones and my brother and his friends are just looking at me and smiling. <laughs> see uh, one of my best friends, Kid O'Howard, just gave me and she's smiling with her sisters. I mean, it's all them, so yeah. that's what really matters at the end of the day. But yeah, what went through my mind, I mean, just everything at once. Everything was processing. <laughs> and then when I started feeling it come down, I saw it. I'm like, what? This is right. This is, I, like, I can't even imagine just being up there and, like, doing something so amazing. Like. Your dedication really like helped out, and you raised like so much money for childhood cancer, right? You were like one of the top um, supporters of the of the. Um... I mean, like that's like what we said this whole time. Just see Baldrick's in our district. I mean, even middle schools and high schools, it's unlike none other. I mean, I, I'm just looking at this on the our uh, monitor right here. I mean, boys, girls, whoever it may be, everyone is shaped. I mean. It's just so cool to see. I mean, you never see stuff like this happen at any other ordinary high school, but you cut them up from high school in Melbourne, New York, and you get a bunch of this, and this is just, it's outstanding. Definitely. It's so cool to see all of this happen. I see, like, well, dancing. I see people, like, just all around me having so much fun, and that's really what this event is all about. We're all having fun, but all doing it for a good cause. Yeah. I mean, like... What was your first reaction when you saw me on the getting shaved? Not gonna lie, I was a little, like, I knew it was happening, but just seeing it up there felt so surreal. Right, that was my... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We have a new interviewer. No. No. Oh, never mind. But, uh, either way, I mean... Just still talking about this event and how it really is. I mean, we've said it, like, even like with your reaction and all that, I mean, it's just, it's insane. I love every part of it. I'm seeing smiles on everyone's faces. It's, it's really cool. It's just really, really cool. And we still have so much more to go. I think we still have to announce the raffles, if I'm not mistaken. I see, like, just look over to my left. I see people, like, carrying so much tickets in their hands. And that is honestly such a good sign to see people like, um, see people buying these tickets and donating their money and putting like so much towards an amazing cause. You know what? The more money, the better. I mean, it's just so sweet seeing everyone donate us money and such. So, I mean, God bless everyone who donated. It really means a lot. 
So, I mean, as we're coming towards the end of our night, I mean, how was your safe Baltics this year? It was amazing. I think this is probably the one yet. Like, I was, um, from a time or two, I was a camera operator working behind the scenes. But now I'm, like, looking at it, like, all together and just doing, like, an overview of it just really shows me how amazing of an event this is. And it's so cool to see everyone come together. I'm looking and I'm seeing, like, a m bunch of people here. And that's honestly so amazing to see, like, this many people come out and support one another. It is, it's amazing. It's mind-blowing even. I mean, and then after this, when we look at other school events, next week is our spring music. Greece. I am so excited. School, the School and Drama Club has put in so much hard work in doing it that spring sports are back and you can go over spring, spring sports coverage and on the BB YouTube channel. I mean, there's a lot. I mean, and then the seniors, there's prom, graduation, AP exams, uh, final. I mean, we're, we're coming down that final stretch. About so. <laughs> I know, I don't want to, but I mean, it's almost time. That, so. I think at the moment they are answering the raffle winners. I'm so excited to I'm saying, uh, The Price is Right music. <laughs> <laughs> and it's The Price is Right. I was about to like, I thought it was like someone I knew, and I'm like, wait, I don't know that person. <laughs> who has won this event. Matt Mano, the face of Amy Sports. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. That was a, well, I'd say, pitiful handshake, but this. But I'm glad to be back after a little bit of a hiatus on here. It was great talking with Amanda, but I have been waiting to get there with you just to tell you how great you walk. I mean, this is ending. I mean, I, tell me how your night's been. I mean, I mean, how's it been? I mean, my night's been definitely eventful. I mean, everyone's been coming up to me, talking to me, coming to the table, trying to talk to, trying to, talk to me. It's been very hectic, but St. Paul, St. Baldrick's is, Ball, it's, it's, it's controlled chaos, and it's a good kind of chaos, because everyone's, everyone's so excited, and everyone's so pumped to, to donate or give their hair for a great cause, it's just such a fun for everyone involved, and that, and it brings the energy up to a 10, and so, and it gets really, it's really chaotic, it's really fun all, all the time. It's absolutely insane, and I mean, really, like, we're doing the, uh, the raffle winners, it's so Wow, that there's, I mean, there's still so many people in here, and this ends in eight minutes, and there's still a surreal amount of people in here. Yeah, my, my ears are currently ringing because of the speakers. I mean, Same the senior, here. I mean, I honestly, I can't wait to see the senior parking this reveal. Who gets it? That could be a fun one. See, I don't think I put a ticket for that. I didn't put in a ticket for that one. I don't think I did a, I don't think I did any of the raffles. I couldn't get around because I got to be here. I got to be talking with you. I got to be talking with Amanda. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I'm honestly. I want to get over there, like get over there and now see. Can I put in my name last minute? Like, I want to try the parking spot because I'm always so late to the lot every morning. I mean, the lot fills up early with these seniors, me, and, and then that's not, not nothing bad. I mean, I just want to. I'm mad. I mean, like, I get, I want a spot. You know, I should get myself in the parking spot, rap ball, just save myself a couple of minutes when I when I wake up. You know. It just feels. I mean, look, I never get a spot in the morning, so I'm not wasting a raffle ticket on that. <laughs> like, Honestly, Mark gets it is kind of the winner, so, well, obviously, Mike, they're now I have a question. Winner, winner, winner. We're sophomores and juniors, we're like underclass allowed to put their names in this. We're like, we're juniors who drive, like, allowed to put their name in this. Absolutely not, you're not a senior. Yeah, that's what I said. No, no juniors uh, are uh, putting their raffle tickets in. What spot is the winner going to reserve? Uh, I would go with one of the diagonals. That's what I take every morning. I would totally take a diagonal spot. Yeah, well, also, like, 
How are we going to indicate that that's a reserve for the winner of the St. Paul Dix Raffle? So. Also, I don't, I don't want to spread rumors, but uh, Chase Bickham is on the shaving stage. Is he actually? I don't know if he's getting shaved or not, but uh, oh, I don't think he is. No, I don't believe he is. Uh, My apologies on that. I mean, he is stand. I mean, he is standing by with the cer a certain what is that someone. So we'll see. I cannot wait for the. But honestly, like, but honest, like, I want to get back to this conversation we have at the the, the parking spot, like. Very would, would some dare? So obviously everyone knows about Dom Bello, star quarterback. He's just the man, right? Dom Bello was one of the first people in the lot in the morning. His his hydro loose, as he calls it, in the same exact spot every morning. Would someone dare choose that spot? I don't think so. I wouldn't. I mean, uh, honestly, we shall see. I would not dare take that spot. I mean, I do have a spot that I kind of in the senior group recognized as my as like my own. If I'm not here by, like, if I'm here by 10, like, 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 don't, like, not, like, not this spot. I'm not going to reveal it because everyone's got to take it tomorrow morning. But, like, like I will see, like, because this is just a very, it's a very unique round. You know, I want to see how this turns out. Great, and, I mean. Also, some of these, these raffles are insane. Like, this ticket. This Apple AirPod Rose. I mean, that's not, like, that's a pocket change. Yeah, that's not cheap at all. Like, some of these raffles are and also, these raffles are definitely. Uh, these raffles are generating profit as well. Right? And, uh, so I think wow. Sid is, is trying with uh, one of the founders of uh, Solidus right now. Uh, and uh, I think he's about to. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're just the signal. Yep. Let's. Is that a fine? What is that? Let's find out who is that Sid is standing by with one of the founders of St. Paul Drake's Let. Citizen I with uh, currently I think the founder of the St. Baldur's uh, organization that was fitted in 2005. So, uh, I think Jack Shepherd just got the parking spot. But, oh no, he Islanders tickets. That's cool. He's a big Islanders. Oh, that's great. These raffles are incredible. Sid is standing by and we're ready whenever he is. So we're standing by waiting on that. The senior parking spot. Hold, what we send it today, we need to know who wins this. It's a big drama. Right. My prediction is. What? I am just in the honor. Alright, guys, can everyone settle down, please? Look who we're being joined by. The founder of St. Baldrick's. How are you doing, sir? Two, three, How are you doing, five. sir? Good, doing all right. So you founded St. Baldrick's back in 2005. This event and so how have you seen the event grow then since 2002 to today? this to your principal earlier that when you look at the kids today when I was growing up we never really thought about anything but ourselves all you guys are doing all this for kids with cancer it makes this generation a lot better than what we were when we were kids I mean over the years the money profit has just increased and increased and increased and just seeing how it grows when you just come to these events and just everyone puts a smile on one's face I mean what's your initial reaction oh it is awesome but I'll tell you what the better reaction is you guys don't get to see the end product of this you guys will have this party today, you gave heads, you raise a lot of money, but what you don't see is the money go to research. And I've gotten to see families of children had severe cancers, were in really bad shape, and they were saved by drugs that the research that you guys funded paid for. So now I've seen cancer survivors, young childhood cancer survivors, going to college and doing things that years ago they would have passed away from the cancer, but because of the work you guys are doing here, that you're doing, I mean, it's a fun way of doing it tonight. But the reality is you guys are saving lives by what you're doing. And God bless the Bell American community for that and the community as well. Sir, it was amazing getting to talk to you. That is, just you all, thanks honestly, for having that me. is an incredible story. Like, you never really think about that because everyone really thinks like, oh, St. Paul, Jixi happens and then everyone kind of just, and then the, the real talk of our town is just the students who came in, the, stu the students who came in rocking the ball the next day. And this is 
an incredible, incredible fact that we get to hear. So thank you for sharing. You're welcome. What I would tell you to do is, you want to see what your money's doing on the website. Go to see the impact section on the website, and you can see how the money you raise is being spent. I will definitely check that out. Absolutely. Thank you very much for joining us and getting to share time with us. Thanks for having it's an me. Honor. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Be well. It's been an Be honor well. talking thank to you. Thank you very, very much. And uh, man, uh, I mean, this photo event ended up being a great success. Oh, and for sure. I for think sure. I think it's time we take this baby home, right? Absolutely. This has been such an incredible event. I want to thank all of this. I want to thank all of the seniors and Ms. Dennis and Mr. Patton's participation in government class that made this all possible. And of course, thank you to Ms. Dennis, Mr. Patton and Ms. Geller who helped us get this all going on, get all going on for, for, the, for the MB crew, for Sean McQuillan and Amanda Ali, Sid Elsie and Charles Decker and all of the rest of the BNB crew. I'm Matt Madden. We will see you next. We will see you for the more announcements and next year for St. Paul Objects. It's going to be a great time. Don't, don't forget to tune in next Embrace year. the shave, everyone. Embrace the shave. Embrace the shave. Rock the ball. See you next time.